Nursing Park One, Sweet Bean Nursing Park One. Well, I'm Mike Sullivan, and I'm the CEO of Golden Valley Health Centers, and um, uh, I've been here as the CEO since uh, the beginning, and the beginning is 1972. When we first began, we were a county organization associated with the county hospital called Merced General Hospital in those days. This was the time of, of a lot of um, protest and the United Farm Workers were forming and being very active uh, politically up and down the valley and frankly throughout the United States. Cesar Chavez was uh, obviously uh, leading the charge and became for a lot of people a, uh, a model. It was a time of great change. I proudly um, had the opportunity to meet Cesar Chavez and, and get his autograph that we retain today in, in one of our scrapbooks. None of this would have happened had it not been for the support by the community representatives. They, they trusted uh, this decision to separate from the county and to kind of go out on our own. We didn't have a clinic, we didn't have anything. All we had was our hopes and our dreams and our desires to provide health services. Uh, the reality is we were a long way from achieving that goal. We had nothing. We had to find a place for a clinic that would be, if you will, fitting the dream, fitting the hope for that comprehensive care system. And that's when we found Childs and N Street in Merced. We decided that we would go ahead and purchase this 11 acres that's now where Golden Valley is headquartered. So we had a bunch of dirt and we had a couple of buildings. We didn't, we didn't really know how to build anything. None of us had those kind of experiences. I didn't have that. So to learn how to um, build things was a, a brand new experience for all of us and I just had to learn by probably making a lot of mistakes. But we found good people, we found good friends, people that believed in what we were doing and that's sort of how we got started. We struggled in our early days.
Golden Valley is a large organization and we always have tried to respond to needs in each and every one of the communities in these two counties. So by doing that we have lots of health centers and right now we operate uh, 25 licensed community health centers in Merced and Stanislaw counties. Golden Valley is, is one of the largest. It's not the largest health center. There's a few others that probably have more employees and maybe more services. Um, but we're up there in, the, in, the, in that large category, not only in California, but throughout the United States. So we've done a lot to reach out to particular communities uh, and to particular populations. And I think, if anything, that's been one of the strengths of Golden Valley, is staying as close to the ground and as close to the people and as close to needs uh, that are out there, that are clearly documented, and we've never been afraid to reach out and try to serve those needs. These health centers are not only primary care health centers, but we have specialty clinics uh, like our homeless health center. We were one of the pioneers, and that is to have a, uh, a comprehensive school-based health centers. And I might add, we also operate uh, mobile health centers, and those mobile health centers reach out into also areas where people, uh, where, where there is limited access to care. And so a mobile health centers can be sort of con considered to be like a grassroots connection with the community. And we're very happy about that. And let me just talk a little bit. It's, it's hard for me to talk a lot about uh, all these things and buildings and things like that without mentioning the staff that really operate all the care in those uh, buildings. And, I think that's, you know, without a doubt, the, the strength of Golden Valley is the staff we have that have, that have been able to, uh, with, with, I think, with uh, knowledge and passion and experience and caring, uh, deliver all that care that we talked about. Uh, they get up each and every day and, and have to uh, provide uh, needed services to people in the communities with the caring and, and compassion uh, that, that's needed uh, for the patients that we serve. So we're, we're very, very fortunate to have 600 great employees. We have lots of partners that we work directly with, from health departments to hospitals to uh, medical doctors in the community that care for our patients, both here at, the, at our sites as well as, uh, as referrals. Uh, for our patients and we couldn't provide the comprehensive care if we didn't have those partnerships. The board is made up of uh, 11 individuals, the majority of whom are people that use our health center. Folks that come from the community that have stayed with this organization for uh, years on end, they get help from our from our professional board members too. Uh, Ernestine is helpful there. We have Dr. Ensley, Tom Keen, John Price, or the people like Flora and Alicia and, and Barbara Weaver, and uh, people like that that have given up their time at, 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 at no expense. So without the board, and without their oversight, and without their direction and belief in the mission and purpose, uh, you know, we wouldn't be here today. There's just no doubt about it. You know, our mission is, is to improve the health of the people we serve by providing good quality health services in the communities regardless of language, financial, or uh, cultural barriers. That in summary, that one sentence uh, that has been the mission since 1972 uh, I'm proud to say has not changed today. In that first year, you know, my guess is that we would have served, um, you know, maybe 5,000 visits uh, would be the total visits. Uh, you know, today Golden Valley in the year 2010, 38 years later, uh, last year we were over 300,000 visits, 300,000. So you can just see it's been an enormous growth over the years. We uh, break ground on our new Senior Health and Wellness Center which will be happening uh, this October to 
uh, build a new 28,000 square foot facility that will not only house our new geriatric and senior health and wellness program, but also we will be bringing over our uh, pharmacy, our lab, our specialty services like podiatry and optometry and specialists that come and work here uh, to that new building. We're very happy that that building should be up and going in early 2011. That, that will make uh, this property, this 11 acres that we bought on for $50,000 in 1973, uh, the fulfillment of a dream, really, uh, for, I think, this South Merced community and certainly for Golden Valley Health Centers when we'll have developed the, the, the whole uh, grounds that we're on.